They wear the logo of legendary Chief Blackhawk on a uniform virtually unchanged for 75 years. It's Chicago, and the Blackhawks about to begin play again. Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, original six teams. They go back to 1942, and they're connected by rail, and they all traveled that way at one point. There's a lot of magic about that time. What do you think of? Passionate. The passionate fan base of the original six franchises, Doc, and also the sweaters. How great are the sweaters of original six teams? Campbell's a passionate player, and that's one of the big reasons why he's got that C on that beautiful sweater. And now we turn to the last lines of defense, the goalies. He's the starting goaltender tonight. Some nights go better than others, but most of his nights are superb for the Blackhawks. Anderson's getting the start in net tonight. He looked more than ready in the warm-up, and that might translate to a great night in net for the Maple Leafs. It's a wonderful night for hockey. Taves will step into the draw for Chicago. Bozak's opposite him for the Maple Leafs. Back on his stick. Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. We go down to the benches. Near the ice, it's Ray Ferraro. One of the coolest things about the original six rivalries, of course, guys, is that the fan bases go back generations. And if you find a family that was a Chicago Blackhawks fan in the 50s, they probably still are now. And that is just hard to compete with. Many thanks, Ray. Gotten quickly back. Snapping a pass to Bozak. Directing that one to Zebra. Could this be icing? And it will be, based on the defense arriving first. Polak's shoulder absolutely annihilates him as he goes into the ice. Just under three minutes played in the first. Nothing on the scoreboard has changed. Still a pair of zeros. Chicago's prevailed on another faceoff. Good stick down on the ice, so nothing good happening there. And he pushes it on through mid-ice. Picks it up in his own end. Toronto's got it and moving up the wing. Propelled to Lupo. Didn't miss by much. That's going to happen. There's not a lot of room there. He just missed the shot. Missed the net. Toronto's setting things up in their own end. Now it's directed to Bozak. Terrific determination by Keith. The Hawks lug the puck in their own end. Hoping to shift to offense here, motoring ahead. Shoots. A lightning light glove save. Versteeg's got no weight on his one leg as he limps his way back to the bench after that huge hit. Gets across, looks over his options. Waffle boarded. And he holds on. For Steve's injury occurs on this play, you can hear the collision from where I'm standing. Blackhawks with a clean win on the draw. Hard work for possession. Chip to Kruger. And he dumps it in. Recovery by Ponning. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. The puck is fielded now by Jalmerson. Trying to go to Tutu. Receives that pass from the other side. Off his helmet mask. Whistle blown. Play stopped. The referee will hand out a penalty. The Leafs have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. Toronto Toronto's got a defensive zone win. Two minutes for the Maple Leafs with possession in center ice. Fires! Score! What an impressive goal shorthanded! You 
you get this close to the goaltender, the puck on your stick, you got to snap it quick. It looks to me sometimes as the goaltender's guessing a bit, and when he guesses, he drops into the default butterfly position to see if he can cover enough net. So he played a while in this period, and finally, a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. The Maple Leafs win the draw. What's next? Pitching at the carry. The Maple Leafs have moved to the neutral zone. It's an onside play. Slid to Taves. Nice work by Greening. He's got it there. He wants to clear it out. Buck is picked up by Jalmerson. Pitching this one to Panarin. Got it right back. Panarin's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Play is stopped. There is a signal. We just wanted to see who it is he's taking off. The Leafs are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The Blackhawks get a two-man advantage. It's not a long one, but it might be enough. Solid, clean win. Yep, shot back out. All's fine. And snapped up by Hunwick. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. Seems like he was in too tight on a goaltender. A hammer shot from the point. Score! Another shorthanded goal. Well, he had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. Darling's just not able to react to that, Eddie. As you mentioned, the release was too quick. A little under seven minutes remaining in the first. The Maple Leafs have widened their lead. It's now two goals. Puck is thrown to Panera. Boom! Heavy collision there. That's the type of play that makes this game so great. He's got that pass. 13 minutes, 12 seconds. Gathered in by Brian Campbell. Pass attempt to Taves. Hammers one. Good save there. Point blast. And a good save in the goal crease. Chicago's power play can't feel terrible. They did score one. Tries to get it on net. Oh, a save. Up the wing still with possession and with hope. Up corralled by Corrado. In the defensive zone, pressing on. Looking to McCulloch. Wrist shot. Save. Boy, what reaction. He's got it again. Good work by Zebra. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Broke it right up. Toronto's moving it up the wing. A shot. That shot hit a man. A cover, and play is stopped. Darling's save is a good one, but defensively, they cannot give up another odd man rush. Face off win here. Blocked away. The clock bleeds down to the last minute. One minute left. He is shut right off. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide. Back near the blue line, the carry. Oh, and blocked away. Hangs on to it. Got to clear it. And the horn tries to clear. And the period comes to an end. Woo! We all need a rest now. Programs for tonight's game are available on the concourse. Featuring complete player listings for both teams, player bios, and informative stories. The Maple Leafs have a two-goal lead, and the one that made it two was this one. We'll be right back. One period played, a second period is about to begin. What do you think of what we've seen so far? 
Chicago's lucky to still be in this game after the first period. They had turnover after turnover. I'm sure the coaches addressed that problem in the intermission. Oh, and he's hit yet again. Great job stopping and holding. Shoots one. That hit somebody. Skill play by Bozak. Moved along and in. Passing one off now to Panarin. Referee's got a penalty on his mind here. Delayed call. The Maple Leafs lose a man for two minutes. Boarding is the call. This was a dangerous hit here, Doc. No chance for the player to protect himself. This has been a power play that's gotten a lot of times, but no goals. Maybe that'll change with this one. Good face-off win. Save! Toronto's leaving the defensive zone. He gains the zone. The breakaway! Oh, what a stop! Chicago's lugged it back into their own end. The refs caught something, a delayed call here. The Leafs get a minor for interference. You got to play with controlled emotion. You can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have the puck. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five on three power play, and it begins now. Gets in, looks over his options here. Deflected off the blocker. Lugged along the line. Strong shooter against a strong goaltender, and the guy with a trapper won. Puck is scooped up by Jalmerson. Moving it to Taves. Slides it to the point. Terrific glove save. And possession snapped up by Jalmerson. Let's it go. Ah, that's a good bad save. Scooped up by Hunwick. And the heat's off for now. He cleared it. Chicago's power play has failed. They are perfect in an odd way. Great bad stop. Chicago's starting back in the defensive zone. Terrific determination by Hosa. He carries it up the side. He throws it there. He scores! That's three unanswered goals. Komarov's wrist shot was heavy and quick. Darling's able to just get a small piece of this. It bounces off him and goes into the net. Toronto's just continuing to hammer away on the shot board enormous, and the score is large. The Leafs control at center ice. And the save there. Snapping a pass to Hosa. And at an angle to Ryland. Turned aside. Puck covered. Whistle blown. I don't know how the shooter can do much more than that. The goaltender made an excellent save on a great bid for goal. Over eight minutes have elapsed here in the second. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. Chicago's got possession in neutral ice. Directing that one to Hosa. Buck loose now picked up. Toronto's accelerating on in neutral ice. To Nylander. Nice keep at the blue line so the attack can continue here. Two sticks together, they cancel. The Blackhawks wheel one ahead up the wing. Into the end of attack. And the possession taken up by Marion Hosa. Got it in his own end. And now it's directed to Lupo. Good standing poke check. Outstanding stop! Look at the reaction of the shooter. He cannot believe it. Let's it go. Boot it aside. Goes back deep for it. 
Possession taken by Kruger. Fires! Great glove save, but it's loose. Gains the blue line. Let's it go. Oh, what a great chance, but it's off the iron. Fires! Oh, and a great block of the puck. Took in all alone. Wonderful save. Corralled by Duncan Keith. And he got that one. Laid on to Lupo. Shot on. Off his helmet mask. I think this is a good point to hear from Ray Ferraro. Polak's been like a one-man demolition crew. He has been so physical all over the ice. He is fun to watch, isn't he, Ray? We'll do more of that now. Just over three minutes remaining in the second. The Leafs just keep building on that earlier lead. They're up now by three. Nice face-off work. To Hunwick. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Trying to go to Rosaball. The Hawks with possession through the neutral zone. Decides to head for the corner. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Oh, what a stop. You're going to be seeing that save a lot in the future, Doc. Pitching it to Greening. The play in the second period. Shoots. Outstanding save with a glove. Pitching this one to Taves. Puck is thrown to Van Riemsdyk. Cranks a shot. Good bad save. We've played two periods here of a three-period game. The best part of the day is coming up. Two-period shots on goal totals read like this. 18 for the Maple Leafs and 16 for Chicago. Chicago suffering in net. Probably their whole team play needs to be re-examined during this intermission, but the goaltenders had a rough night. Here's an example as we go to break. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? The Hawks have been a bit frustrated, Doc, after two periods of play. They were down on the scoreboard. They have the prospects of a real hot goaltender in front of them. As their coach, I would tell them to stay with it. Eventually, you get one, and then you get another, and you'll be right back in this game. Takes that pass from the other point. And we get a penalty here. The referee strides over to hand it out. Panarin's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Toronto's getting their first chance of the game on the power play. The Leafs win it. Big drive. Oh, a save there. It's cleared back, and this forces a recoil. Puck settled down by Gardner. On to Kadri. Nicely into the zone. Lots on that. To Riley. The Hawks carrying it on in neutral ice. Puck collected by Kadri. Carried out of his own end towards center ice. Moving it now up the wing. Shoots one. Saved off the mask. Try to clear the puck. Cleared back along and out of harm's way. The Leafs get the puck with just a few seconds left on their power play. Chicago's gotten back even. Penalty kill. Let's go, Arister. Many yards gained. To Riley. Good place to shoot from. Goal post. Fires. Can't get a shot on. Big point blank save there. A missed opportunity from this close in. What a ripper! Got a piece of it with the glove. Pass attempt to Bozak. Gains the zone. Great save! The Hawks have control of the puck at center ice. Propelled to Hosa. Chip to Greening. The Maple Leafs move toward the neutral zone. Slid to Bozak. Good save there. And angled to Ryland. Bad luck, broken stick. 
good standing poke check. Nap by Greeny. Got a piece of that one. Collected in the corner. Waits with it. Big shot. He scores. Four unanswered goals. You want to score goals, you got to get to this area of the ice. And so I got a good look at this one. He's in the butterfly. It looks from my position like he's got the entire net covered. Obviously, there's a little bit open. Toronto's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period for the opposition. At least that is fortunate. Chicago's got that one now. Man, that pass just did not work. It goes back outside. So again, they ready an attack. Looking to Nylander. Pitch back into the offensive zone. Cleared down for icing. Players and coaches will tell you they don't look ahead in the schedule too much, Doc, but we will do it for them. And here's what's ahead over the next couple of games for this team. It's not going to be an easy stretch. We have passed the 10-minute mark of the third period. Toronto's offense just continues to hum. They've added another. Their lead is four. Laid on to Martin. Shoots one. And a good save there. That shot came from nowhere. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. On to Jalmerson. Good save there. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Anderson's seen a lot of rubber tonight. His team defensively hasn't helped him out very much, but he's turned aside almost everything. Oh, that's a good shot. Great pad save. Makes that play deep. Propelled to Nylander. That pass wouldn't work. He was just bumped off at the last second. Enormous hit. You got to keep your head up there. Toronto's in their own end, moving the puck. Onside. Chip to Lupo. Just missed the net with that one. Here's one of those times where you look at the net and there's nothing there. That's where you just got to shoot for the center of the net. Taken on by Ponick. Slid to Tutu. Really good deflection. No harm. The Maple Leafs wheel it up the wing. Great job on a cut pass. In. The Maple Leafs have possession in their own end. Gathered up again by Kruger. No luck. Passing one off now to Light. Toronto's in control of the puck up the wing. Collected by Light. Last minute of play and the outcome. What a save. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Laid on to Keith. Nicely into the zone. Good quick stick. Got a piece of it. And a whistle. Anderson's just got a piece of this scoring chance. That was a dangerous attempt. Defensive zone win. Icing is whistled, and so another face-off in the ready. Good clean win on the draw. Takes a shot. On to Anisimo. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Up taken hold up by Van Riemsdyk. Shoots one. He scores. He had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. 
Wow, crazy, Enzo. He's got a clean look at this. He's set. He just can't react in time. The Blackhawks prevail on the draw. Oh, broke it up. Moving it to Bozak. Gathered up by Van Riemsdyk. Snapping a pass to Versteeg. On the outside, a shot. A terrific job in the goal crease. First shutout victory of the year. Something all of these guys can build on. Only the elite at this level can skate away with a zero on the board. He's going to be looking for more before this season is over. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.